I know exactly why you clicked on this video, you dirty, dirty people. I'm so proud. Hey Buttes, Fanny Ann here, um, and today we're going to talk about boobs. Um, but not just any boobs, we're going to talk about the problems of having uh, big boobs, because I I do, and uh, there is some problems with it, and, and things happen that are really annoying, and I'm sure some people can relate, and I'm sure some people probably can't relate. So we're going to talk about different problems and the stuff that is just really annoying. So pros and cons we're gonna start with the cons okay so if you've got a friend who has big boobs as well hugging that person is sometimes physically impossible I mean you can hug them but the arms don't reach around the back and you're kind of not really even close to each other um, so that could be really annoying braless tops are just not a thing they make really lovely tops like lace tops or really pretty tops that people that you know don't have um, very big boobs can wear without a bra but not having a bra on is not an option for me the only time I take my bra off is when I'm going to bed I even wear it when I come home from like work and stuff and kind of just sit around in it because it's just more comfortable than not wearing a bra um, so yeah I can't wear tops without a bra on because some of them are so pretty and I'm like I really want to wear that but my tips will hang down the bottom of the top and it will just look shit thanks fashion thanks also, if you wear a shirt, if you have to wear a shirt to like school or uh, work or wherever, you, like, I don't really wear shirts that much. If I do, they're really oversized. But back when I was in school or back when I like worked in an office and had to wear a shirt, um, when you do the buttons up, you get this like weird like gape where the buttons are done, but then you can kind of see through. It's like little peepholes into your cleavage, and uh, that's really fucking annoying and then you have to wear a top a shirt that's like two times too big for you so then it's baggy everywhere else but it fits nicely on your tits it's really annoying like I don't want to have to peekaboo at everyone with my tits out in an office it's not a place I want to be doing it I never want to do it in any place but especially not there especially at school oh for fuck's sake puberty puberty's a bitch <laughs> they it's so hard to find a pretty bra that is big sized and the kind of shops that do it like I obviously want to buy bras from Primark because they're fucking cheap and I'm a cheapskate and, and, and a skank and uh, I want to buy cheap bras but the bras don't go up to my size in Primark and if I do rarely find one they're fucking ugly they're so ugly small bras are so pretty and big bras are so fucking hideous that I don't even want to place it upon my titties I don't want to have to show that off to a boy getting undressed and they're like what the fuck is that curtain bras you're wearing what's those beige flowery curtain bras you have on i don't know i can't find nice ones and if they do do nice ones they're really expensive because they're someone's like a famous person's brand and they charge ridiculous prices for them and it's really hard to find pretty bras all my bras are like one color like black cream white red pink I've even got like a lime green one. It's very green. I can't really wear that with anything. I kind of wear it to the gym. When I wear a sports bra to the gym, the bra like hangs out because sports bras just don't. Speaking of sports bras, speaking of sports bras, I cannot wear just a sports bra to the gym. I have to wear a bra and then a sports bra. It doesn't work. I can't do that. It just, it, it fails miserably. I'd either have to wear like four sports bras and no bra at all or a bra and a sports bra. Swimming costumes, uh, swimming costumes and bikinis are kind of a no. I almost, unless they've got kind of like a bra sewn in, I just don't really like going swimming because it just looks so unsightly. It's not a thing that I ever want. Unless your tits are silicone, it doesn't look nice for me. I don't think, uh, personally, I, do, I just don't, I don't like wearing it. I don't like wearing swimming costumes. So I usually, I usually wear like a bikini and like a t-shirt over the top. And I'm like, that will fucking do. That will do. It looks like, you know when you get water trapped in like a swimming costume and it all sags down? That's what it looks like. And then, then people realise, like, oh no, that's not water trapped, that's tits. Pure tits. Um, I have to hold my boobs while I run, or while I jog or jump. Um, it's really uh, annoying. I hate it. Like, if I'm doing jumping jacks, you have to kind of put your arms up. But I'm there holding my tits like this. It's just, it hurts if I don't do it. And then, they, I nearly knock myself out. I mean... Don't tell me to put my hands up. I can't. I have to hold them down. They're like two wild animals. If you've got big tits and you show them off, people think you're a bit of a 
of a hussy. Whereas if you have small boobs and you kind of wear like really low cut tops and stuff, it looks really nice. Like, and again, it's one of them tops you can wear no bra with. But if you've got big tits and you show your cleavage or show them off, then people will like, oh my God. She's only showing them off because she's got big tits. That's why I never, it's such a rare thing, people will not see me with like a cleavage top on it. So I just don't. Once on my birthday, I bought like a top that had like lace um, down the cleavage. And uh, it was really nice, it's a really nice top. And I, when I wore it, I kind of felt a bit like everyone was looking at them and not at me, which was really horrible. So it is so rare for people to see my cleavage or see like for me to get them out because I just don't like doing it. And you know, I don't, when you've got big tits, you don't need to get them out because people can see that you have big tits, they can see, there's no illusion there. They're there for you to kind of gawk at. Don't gawk at them. People always think it's okay to ask what size your tits are just because you've got big tits. If you've got like normal size, if you're like a C or a B or like an A, no one asks you, no one thinks about asking you because I think they think, you know, that you might, they might offend you because you've got, there's nothing wrong with having small boobs, there is nothing wrong with it at all. Each boob is beautiful. All the boobs are beautiful, but when you've got big tits, people think it's okay to go, oh my god, what size are you? I'm like, oh, well, what size is your fucking dick? Like, why are you asking me this? Do I have to tell you that? Can't you just, like, assume? Like, fuck off. I'm not telling you. It's always, like, people that you barely know. It's always men as well. It's always people, it's either men or girls that know the same problem that we're like, oh, what size are you? And you're like, oh, I'm an E. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm a double D. I know that pain. And you're like, <laughs> It's mostly men. They're like, oh, my God, what size are your tit? Fuck off. Just go away. Go away. And like, even if they don't know you, they say this to you. And I'm like, babe, I have no idea who you are. I don't know who you are. So I'm not going to tell you my personal size is. Do you want to know the size of my waist as well? The size of my fucking fat ass? Go away. <laughs> as well as like pretty tops and things, you can't wear anything backless because side boob is not a thing for people with big boobs. Side boobs should be left for people that have very nice kind of perked, normal size kind of C or below boobs. Whereas if you're a D or up, side boob, you could hide things under that side boob. You could smuggle drugs into places and smuggle sweets into the cinema under fucking side boob. Bridesmaid dresses. Bridesmaid's dresses. Why are bridesmaid's dresses always strapless? Why? Why do we have to cut off here and just kind of rely on our boobs to hold up the dress? I don't know why I have to do that. There's too much skin from boob to neck. And people will be like, oh, she's got like fucking saggy tits going on. Look at that. Give me some straps. My best friend's got a really good idea. She said that when she gets married, she's going to pick the colour of the bridesmaid's dress, but you can pick your own style. And I appreciate that so much because I will make sure there is straps and sleeves and some sort of support going on. Because I don't want to have strapless, backless dresses for a whole reception, especially if I'm getting drunk. Because I will get drunk at a wedding. I will. And I don't want to have to keep pulling this up and making sure and when I'm dancing, holding it up and just crying in the bathroom at the fact that there's too much skin showing because everyone can see that my tits are too big for this dress. I could only really wear short necklaces or like chokers and things because when you wear a long one and it hangs over your boobs, it just hangs there like a fucking cat toy, just like dangling around because there's nowhere for it to rest on. And then you look like a fucking walking cat toy. No wonder they follow me around everywhere. It just looks gross, I have to wear short necklaces like this. This is the length I've got going on today and it just kind of sits just on my cleavage. And that's probably about the longest I'd ever go, really. And uh, yes, that is a Stark necklace. Because in England today, yesterday, Game of Thrones was on in America. Today, it's on in England. And I'm really excited to watch it. I can't even imagine getting pregnant because as big as they are now, the thought of them getting even bigger and full of fucking dairy products is not something that I ever want to happen. It freaks me out. Just having some, they're like, your tits were big before, but Jesus, I'm like, yeah, I have to feed a child with them. Bear with. And I was £10.6, so no fucking... Who knows what size my child's going to be? How much milk they're going to need? Um, sleeping on your front is not really a thing. I don't do that. I, I've never really slept on my front. It's really uncomfortable. It's just so uncomfortable. And, like, obviously, um, like, the older you get, you know, gravity is a thing gravity happens and if you sleep on your front they kind of slip into your armpit that hasn't happened to me yet I'm 24 it's not happened yet but I know it's coming I know it's coming age is coming and I can see it and I can see the sag and I don't want
want that to happen. It's, it's inevitable. It scares me. I don't sleep on my front. That's where I'm going with this. I don't sleep on my front because it, it kind of restricts my breathing a little bit. Um, luckily, I mean, I've got big boobs, but I've never had back problems from it. And that's kind of one thing that people get when they've got quite big boobs, they get back problems. But I've never had that. So that's kind of one fortunate thing. I've never had back problems. Um, roller coasters. Roller coasters. Because they have to clip the thing down. And you see, because obviously they come over and they check it. And like usually they can, they have space to kind of rattle it to see if it's in and locked. With mine, they're like, oh, there's no space to rattle this. Let me just push it in further. Let me just push it down even further onto your tits. Yeah, thanks. Now I can't breathe while I'm on this roller coaster. I'm, my ribs are being crushed. Brilliant. How am I supposed to enjoy the stealth at Fort Park? My ribs are being crushed to death. Seat belts as well. They kind of cut your boob in half and stuff, and they're a bit uncomfortable. I usually. They're so uncomfortable to wear that I kind of rest them just on my shoulder and I'm like, eh. And the whole journey I'm just like, if I'm on a long journey, kind of, I usually, I shouldn't tuck it under my arm because then it's not cutting me off and like cutting into my tit. And they need to make seat belts that are appropriate for people with big boobs. A big boob car. I'd buy one. I mean, yeah, those are all kind of, I don't know if I can think of anything else at the moment. Those are the ones that annoy me. Um, if you've got big boobs, let me know in the comments what pisses you off about them. Um, but the pros, pros of having big boobs, is that men like it. Men like big boobs. And sometimes that goes a long way. Not all of them. Some of them do. And, uh, you know, they do make tops and dresses for big boobs that look pretty. And I appreciate that. So, yeah, you can buy some clothes and some men like it. So, fuck it. My genetics gave me big boobs. There is nothing I can do about it. I've accepted it. I like them. I'm I'm happy with them. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't change. Actually, would I change them? I might. I, mm. It's certain. I don't know if I'd change if I'd go a little bit smaller. I might. I'll probably. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for coming and seeing me today. This probably wasn't what you expected the video to be like. The men that are watching. I'm assuming you probably thought it'd be something else. Let me just get my tits out there. Let me just pull my top up and you can see. No. Thank you for coming and seeing me today. I really do uh, appreciate it. Remember to push all those lovely little buttons at the bottom. Remember to follow your dreams no matter how small they are. Even if your dream is to make really pretty big bras. And I really appreciate it if you followed that dream and did it. And then let me know and be like, Fanny Ann, I've made big bras that are pretty. Do you want some sent to you? I'd be like, yes, please. Here's my sizes. Here's my money. All of them. All of the colours that you can think of and make. I'm rambling. Anyway, and I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. They're such a handful as well. I mean, I can't even get my whole hand around them. So when I'm jogging, there's so many places I have to hold on to. I don't jog.